the distance a person can see on a clear day is estimated by the formula v is equal to 1,225 times the square root of a, all of that over 1,000, where v is visibility, so that right there is visibility in miles, and a is equal to altitude. Fair enough. Now they say if Jerome can see for 150 miles, so Jerome can see for 150 miles. So that's how far he could see. So that is the visibility. That is v. About how far above the ground is he? So they want to know what the altitude is. About how far off the ground is he? This is a, and this is what we don't know. We know that his visibility is 150 miles. We want to know what a is. So we can look at this formula for visibility as a function of altitude here. We know what the visibility is. It is 150 miles. v is 150 miles. So we can say that v, or 150 miles, 150 miles is equal to is equal to 1,225 times the square root of a. A is how far above the ground he is. Times the square root of a. All of that over, all of that over, 1,000. Now we can multiply both sides of this equation. We want to isolate this radical here so that we can solve for it. What we can do is we can multiply both sides of this equation times 1,000 over 1225. Times 1,000 over 1225. 1,000, let me scroll to the left a little bit, 1,000 over 1225. And the whole point of that is so that we can isolate the square root of a. This 1,000 cancels with that 1,000. That 1225 cancels with that 1225. And we get, and I always like to have the variable I'm solving for on the left-hand side. So let's put it there. So let me just switch sides as well. So we get the square root of a. The square root of a is equal to all of this business over here. Is equal to 1,000 times this 150 times 150. All of that over 1225. All of that over 1225. And it looks like there's some simplification that we can do here. Both of these numbers seem divisible by 25. 25, this number up here, 150, that's 25 times 6. So let me write this. This is 25 times 6. And this number right here, what is this? This is 25. This is 25 times. Let's see, 12 times 4 is 48, and then you're going to have one more. 25 times 49, if I'm doing my math right. Let me double check that. 49 times 25. 9 times 5 is 45. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Get rid of that. 2 times, put a 0 here. 2 times 9 is 18. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. You get a 5, you get a 12. Get a 12. Yep, it's 1225. So this is 25 times 49. This is 25 times 6. Let me cancel this, cross that out. This 25 cancels with that 25. And so it doesn't look, you know, 49 is 7 times 7. So that looks about as simple as we can get it. So this is equal to, we could write it as 6,000 over 49 is equal to the square root of a. So if we want to solve for a, we can square both sides of this equation. So let's do that. So if we square, let me rewrite this. So you have the square root of a is equal to 6,000 over 49. We want to square both sides of this equation. So we square both sides of this equation. And we get, we will get a, the altitude that Jerome, that how far above the ground Jerome is, is going to be equal to. Well, 6,000 squared over 49 squared. 6,000 squared over 49 squared. Or you could view it as 6,000 divided by 49 squared. So let's figure out what that number is, just to we have, uh, get a sense of things. And let me get a calculator out for this one. Let's get a calculator, calculator out. Let me clear it out. All right, so we want to do 6,000 squared divided by 49 squared, which is equal to 1,400 or, or 14,990. We'll round up 14,994 feet. 
This is equal to 14,993 feet. I'm assuming that this equation is taking our feet, our altitude in feet. They didn't mention it here, but I'm assuming that in feet. Because that makes sense. If you can see for about 150 miles, it makes sense that you're about 15,000 feet in the air.